Who's cooking in your house on Christmas Day then, Tom? Well, I'll be doing the cooking. I can't bear the absolute carnage if someone else has to do it. <laughs> and actually, <laughs> it would be a better old job at the end of the day. And it also absolves me of all responsibility. Of for course, the up. someone else has to step in. It's not easy to get me off the wilds of Exmoor and into the big smoke. But what we've got in store for you today is going to be infinitely worth it. We're going to be doing a Christmas show-stopping dish. Slow-cooked mallard, festive spices. We've got some orange, walnuts, star anise, bay, cinnamon, clove. We're here in Berry Brothers and Rudd, surrounded by the finest wines known to all humanity. And Adam here is going to be finding some fantastic wines that are going to go perfectly with these individual meats. We've got, obviously, the mallard, which we're going to stuff with a little bit of venison mince. Nice. A little bit of onion, some marmalade in there for an orangey sweetness, and some walnuts as well. On the outside of the mallard, we're going to make a, a marinade of marmalade, orange, star anise, cinnamon, clove, and a little bit of hoisin, because uh, although not traditionally Christmas, it just adds to a sort of background flavor of, of, of spice, really. So the first thing in the stuff, I'm gonna stuff it with some venison mince. You can use port mince if you want, but you know, keep it in, in keeping with, uh, yeah, quite with right. the game theme. Sticking with game, yeah. Four ingredients, onion, walnuts, marmalade, and some venison mince. Perhaps we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper in there. So just push the stuffing into the cavity. And because we're slow cooking this, you can push the stuffing absolutely jam-packed full in the mm -hmm. cavity. You don't need to worry about it not cooking. I like to pop a few oranges in here just because it looks quite pretty. So you just need to make the marinade. Yeah? So going in with a big dollop of marmalade, about 100 ml of hoisin. And then the other wet ingredient is the sherry. The beauty of it, obviously, is once you've put it in the marinade, you can pour yourself a little glass, you know. So it's oh, bang on, what are we waiting for? Chef's, right? chef's privilege. <laughs> <laughs> and in he goes. On goes the marinade. Wow, that looks fantastic. Oh, oh it's yes. really beautiful. I don't know if I can wait four hours. <laughs> so the marinade's gone on. We're gonna pop on the real Christmas spices now. So a bit of star so anise. Bit of star anise, cinnamon stick. Just give it a twist like that, break it down a bit, and then pop it down either side. Duck is a meat that is quite good at taking all these powerful flavours. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do this with a lot of... No meat. way, no way. No, it would, it would absolutely slaughter a cartridge. Yeah. It would be no good at all. Before I put that in the oven, though, I'm just going to add a splash of water, because obviously all the sugar's in there. It's got potency to burn. So I'm just doubling this up with two layers of tin foil to make sure all that moisture stays in. 140 degrees C, two and a half hours, and we forget about it. Tom, this looks fantastic. Mm. And, yeah, just wonderfully festive. I'm really looking forward to tucking well, into it. Well, the aromas are all just Christmas on a Absolutely. plate. Absolutely. I mean, you can see how the marinade's completely reduced around. It's gone sort of dark and sticky all over the meat. So with this, I mean, I can imagine it's not the easiest of, uh, of dishes to pair a wine with, with all yeah, that Yeah, well, duck is pretty easy, actually, mm -hmm. but you want to try and pick up on all of those exotic spices. Yeah. And it's Christmas time, so it's a time for probably pushing the boat out a little bit as well. Yeah, so I've, I've chosen a Barolo from the northwest of Italy, made from the Nebbiolo grape variety. It's quite a modern style, so there's plenty of fruit here yeah. and a bit of spice, which I'm hoping is really going to pick up on the spice in the dish, and then a nice floral high tone, which I think should pick up on those oranges, particularly now that they've caramelized a little bit. I yep. think that slightly marmalade quality should go really, really Probably well. Probably rather nicely with that venison stuffing too. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, nothing yeah, says yeah, Christmas absolutely. like these spices, eh? Or some rather indulgent wine. <laughs> Well, thanks very much for cooking this time. I'm looking forward to tucking in, but I'd like to say cheers to you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Here's to it.